This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at the structure and properties of covalent compounds. Covalent compounds have two types of structures. They are molecular covalent and giant covalent. On the left, we can see some examples of molecular covalent substances. They include H2O, which is water, CH4, which is methane, and O2, which is molecular oxygen. Molecular covalent substances exist as individual molecules with a fixed number of atoms. For example, a molecule of water consists of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. A molecule of methane consists of one carbon atom and four hydrogen atoms. And a molecule of oxygen consists of two oxygen atoms bonded together with a double covalent bond. On the right, we have an example of a giant covalent substance, which is diamond. Diamond is composed of carbon atoms, which are all bonded by single covalent bonds. Giant covalent substances do not exist as individual molecules. Unlike a molecular covalent substance, the number of atoms in a giant covalent substance is not fixed. It depends on the size of the sample. The two types of covalent structures have different physical properties, and we'll look at these next. We'll start by looking at the boiling points of molecular covalent substances. Molecular covalent substances have lower boiling points and are usually liquids and gases. So here we have molecular oxygen, methane, water, and ethanol. Both molecular oxygen and methane exist as gases at room temperature whereas water and ethanol exist as liquids. Their low boiling points are due to the relatively weak intermolecular forces that exist between the molecules. So molecular oxygen and methane have weaker intermolecular forces between the molecules and are therefore gases. Water and ethanol have stronger intermolecular forces between the molecules and are therefore liquids. Giant covalent substances have high melting and high boiling points. Examples of giant covalent substances include diamond, silicon, and silicon dioxide. Their high melting and boiling points are due to the strong covalent bonds between the atoms. Next, we look at the solubility and electrical conductivity of the two types of substances. The solubility of molecular covalent substances depends on the polarity of the molecule. Non-polar molecules are soluble in non-polar solvents. For example, hexane is soluble in octane. Both hexane and octane are non-polar molecules. Polar molecules are soluble in polar solvents. For example, ethanol is soluble in water. Giant covalent substances such as diamond are insoluble in both polar and non-polar solvents. This is due to the strong covalent bonds between the atoms. And finally, neither type of substance conducts electricity as they lack free-moving charged particles. 